Hi, my name is Jeremiah and I go to School 22 in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Today we're going to meet the New Jersey Symphony. It looks exciting, right? I can't wait to investigate what the orchestra is working on now. Come on. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm just practicing, getting ready for a rehearsal. We're playing a piece that starts with one of my favorite flute melodies. It's from Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty? Wait, I thought that was a story. What does an orchestra have to do with Sleeping Beauty? And who are you? Oh, my name is Kathleen, and I play flute in the New Jersey Symphony. I'm talking about Sleeping Beauty because it's part of a piece called The Mother Goose Suite by the composer Maurice Ravel. Wait a second. But I read Sleeping Beauty in a book with words. How does an orchestra play Sleeping Beauty? Ah, that's one of the amazing things about music and really about all kinds of art. You said Sleeping Beauty is a story, right? Well, stories can be told not just in words, but many ways. Sometimes a story can become so timeless that it inspires artists and artists working in different art forms. There are paintings about Sleeping Beauty, movies about Sleeping Beauty, and also music. There are versions of Sleeping Beauty created by artists of all different backgrounds and cultures. Ravel was so inspired by fairy tales, including the story about Sleeping Beauty, that he wrote five pieces of music based on them, which together he called Mother Goose Sweet. But paintings and movies show a story. How does music do that when all you have are the musicians? Good question. Ravel did it with sounds. In the movement called Sleeping Beauty, he wrote a beautiful melody and he passed it around the instruments in the orchestra. First, he gave it to the flutes, accompanied by the French horn, then to the clarinet, accompanied by the English horn and bassoon, and finally to the violins, accompanied by the harp. Now, these long lines of melodies are like a lullaby. As the lullaby melody moves around the orchestra, Ravel is musically describing the sleeping curse engulfing the palace. Wait, so everyone falls asleep? Yes. Remember in the story of Sleeping Beauty, an evil witch places a curse on a spinning wheel in the palace. And if the princess pricks her finger on this spinning wheel, which she does, she will fall asleep forever. Well, this is exactly what happens. And when it does, her parents are devastated. So they ask for help from a good fairy who says that there's nothing that can be done except to wait for the princess to wake up. The fairy puts everyone else in the palace to sleep so they can be with her when she wakes up. Then the fairy hides the castle, covering it with leaves and branches and thorns so everyone inside is safe. And then what happens? Well, do you know what a cliffhanger is? Like when you think something's about to happen in a story, but then it stops and you don't know what's coming next? Exactly. Well, Ravel gives us a musical cliffhanger. His music only shows us the part where Sleeping Beauty falls asleep. And then we don't find out what happens until after Ravel has told us some more stories. You'll have to stay tuned all the way to the end of the Mother Goose Suite to find out. Well, I can't wait to see, or I guess hear, how Ravel tells the story of Sleeping Beauty. Could we listen to it now? Sure. Here it is, performed by the New Jersey Symphony. <laughs> 